Ambassador Yoram Ettinger, who served as a liaison with the U.S. Congress, says that the Passover holiday provided America's founding fathers with a fundamental ethos that helped them to establish the United States of America. He also told IBA's Ari O'Sullivan that the national seal was very nearly going to be the burning bush, but lost out to the eagle. If you observe Passover, you'll find out that first and foremost, Passover is the foundation of the Jewish people, the Jewish uh, religion, uh, the Jewish uh, vision. Uh, it is the foundation of the elements of uh, essence of liberty, of optimism, of uh, faith. But at the same time, it's also the foundation of the key American ethos. The early pilgrims who came to the U.S. Uh, through the uh, Mayflower and the Arabella 1620, 1623, as far as they were concerned, they departed from modern-day modern day Egypt. They rebelled against modern-day Pharaoh. They crossed the Atlantic, the modern-day uh, sea, and they headed towards modern-day promised uh, land. Hence, the hundreds or thousands of sites in America bearing biblical names. If you were to walk today into the chamber of the house, you would see the bust, the sculpture of the head of uh, Moses. If you were to cross a street and walk into the U.S. Supreme Court, you would see above the desk of the nine Supreme Court uh, justices, Moses holding the Ten Commandments, overseeing the nine justices, and then there are eight more sculptures of Moses in the U.S. Supreme Court. Exodus plays a major role in human rights overall, but especially in the U.S., especially in the abolitionist uh, movement. Uh, Moses, let my people go, mm -hmm. has been a major, major battle cry of those who fought against um, uh, slavery. And last and not uh, least, uh, we end uh, Passover with the prayer next year in reconstructed, reunited uh, Jerusalem. There is one Jerusalem in Israel, but there are 12 Jerusalems in the U.S. There are 38 more Jeru um, Salem's. Salem, this is Shalem, the original biblical name of Jerusalem, hence the foundation between the USA and the Jewish state, which in my mind explains the very special attitude by Americans towards Israel, the covenant between the US and Israel. And understand that Benjamin Franklin even had a unique proposal for a seal? Absolutely, it was uh, John Adams, Thomas Jefferson and Benjamin Franklin who proposed that the seal of the U.S. would be the pillar of fire, the Israelites crossing the sea and the chariots of uh, the Egyptians drowning in the sea. It was uh, second to the eagle, but above the head of the eagle you have the 13 stars of the colony and they are arranged in the form of the Star of David. Once again, the biblical roots, the Judeo-Christian foundation of the U.S., which again explains the very special relations between the U.S. and Israel. Celebration of the Passover festival by the